Hi, TJ Callen here with Callen's Crafting Studio. Thanks for tubing in. In today's video, we're going to work in Cricut Design Space, and I'm going to show you the difference between slice, weld, contour, group, and attach. So stay tuned, because here we go. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to work in the Cricut Design Space app that was recently released a few months back that you can now work offline and you can save your projects to the computer and the cloud. So if you lose internet access or for whatever reason you don't have access to the internet, you're able to still work with your projects and get to them. Uh, if you're working on a personal device such as an iOS or Android, those apps are a little bit different and the layout of where these tools are going to be are not what I'm going to show you today. However, the meaning of what these tools are is still the same. So we're going to start with the slice tool. And this is a sign I had previously made. There's three different layers to this little project. And two of them, as you can see, are text and then a background sort of square scrolly piece. And slice simply means to slice something out of something else. So you might have a need that you want to slice this text out of the back of the piece. So you would place it on top of it and then you want to make sure that you grab and highlight both pieces together. So you'll see that they're grayed over here on your layers panel. And then you go down to the very bottom here and you click the slice. Now you can move your top layer of text that you put on top of it, but if you click on it again, you see that there's something new here. And if you move that, and I'm going to go ahead and delete it because we don't need that anymore, it has now sliced those words into the other object. So if you send this to the mat by clicking make it, and you click down on that piece, you can see now that that's going to cut your text or whatever the object may be out of that. So you've actually sliced that out and that now has become one. So that's the meaning of the slice tool. Next, we're going to talk about the contour tool, which can be found in the lower right hand part of the screen. Right now it's grayed out because I don't have any image selected. So I'm going to select this image here. And contour is kind of the exact opposite of slice. You might find something in the image library or upload something that you want to get rid of part of the design. So now that I have my odd object selected, I'm going to click on contour and you're going to see all of the different pieces of that object. So you can either hide everything all at once, which will get rid of all of that lettering, or you can just do pieces of it. So say we just wanted to get rid of the P, you would click on those parts of the P and then X out of it. Now you can see that the P is no longer showing and we're back to where we started. Now I do want to go ahead and hide all of the contours. So we have our original object that has nothing cut into it. And that's what the contour tool is. Let's move on to weld. And for that, I'm going to use this little cat and dog image I have down here. So right now this is in two layers, a gray layer and a black layer. And if I were to send that to the mat, it's going to cut it in two separate pieces. But perhaps I wanted that to be welded together to be one single piece. Well, that's exactly what weld will do. So you will just select both of those objects. Well, now see what happened here. I grabbed in part of the yourself. We don't want to do that. So to be a little more careful with my grab and I kind of just go a little bit lower there. Now I just grab those two pieces. You can see they're both gray over here. And then you just go down and click at the bottom again and click on weld. Now that's made that one single piece. So if I were to make it and send it to the mat, now you can see it's going to cut that out as one piece on a black layer. And that's all there is to weld. Next we're going to talk about group. So I have this text in two different layers and I have it grouped together. So I'm going to ungroup it for right now. 
and they're separated so I can click on each one I can move them around but sometimes you want things to move around together on your screen particularly if you already have it lined up the way that you want it and you don't want to have to align things again so let me align everything centering it horizontally so I know that they're lined up the way that I want them so I'm gonna click on both of these and for this I use my shift key and click on them individually instead of dragging over top of them because I don't want the object in the background I just want the text on the top then you go up and you click on group in the top left of your panel and now the items are grouped together however if I send it to the machine it's not going to cut it that way centered the way I need it to be done. So when you click on make it and you click on that mat, you can see that the yourself is off center and I can move these around separately and I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to cancel this and this is where attach comes into play. So I want these to be attached together so they cut exactly as I have them on the screen so they're already grouped and you still you have them grouped but you can go down and click the attach button now when I send it to the mat it's lined up properly and when I move it around it's all attached together so that's the difference between attach and group attach has to do with the way it's going to cut on the mat group is simply how you're viewing it on your screen so there you have it slice contour weld group and attach once you have a basic understanding of these five tools the possibilities of creating and design space are really endless. If you found this video helpful, please smash that like button. And if you wanna be notified anytime I post new content, simply click on that little bell. Thanks for watching, see you next time.